Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy J Max. Um, I decided that I would take apart my headlights because I've been getting a lot of requests and questions on how you do your headlights. Um, the thing is, with my headlights, I kind of went, you know, the extra distance because I wanted to make sure I did it right the first time. So, um, to start it off, you need a few basic um, tools to get the job done. First of uh, some vice grips, um, pliers if necessary. I just put them, I probably won't need that. Clamps, you need clamps to clamp it down when it's done. Basic um, screwdrivers. Uh, I have the halo rings. I'm gonna actually redo my, like, put in a new set of halo rings because it comes on sometimes. So I'm not sure if it's the ballast or the actual halo ring. So I decided that I'm gonna do that, the, the whole thing. Those were the, actually the housing for the, the halo rings. I think it's a 70 mil, millimeter. I decided that I was gonna take it out because it doesn't line up properly. Um, <sighs> screwdrivers, you know. Um, silicone, so if you, for, for my halo rings wire, I need to seal up any holes. Probably gonna get frosty anyways. Um, and this thing here, it's called Q-Bond. I got it at a local uh, automotive store. This is what I use to apply my my halo rings. So I use this to stick it on and this to bond it. It's it's a form of a powder. When mixed, it's like hard like metal. So that's what I decided to do. Um, gloves, again, and um, some wax. And if you want to do the inside, like clean out the inside, any any um in, and um cloth if you need to clean out inside um it's in the oven baking right now it's about 200 and like about 200 fahrenheit a lot of people have different ways of how they do their headlights a lot of guys say put wet towels in there um i don't want to put wet towels in there because a towel could easily dry catch a fire um it's more of a safe uh, safety hazard for me um, I use foil paper, I put it on the lowest level, and I use foil paper to block anything from falling through the heat. The heat that, that from 200 degrees won't melt anything on the headlight. All it does is soften the glue that's keeping the headlight glass, the housing to the glass. So don't don't panic, you don't have to be you don't have to be scared on how you're gonna do it. Um, so I'm gonna pull it out right now, open it up and I guess I'll probably make this video in two parts because I have no idea how to edit videos. So, one sec.